use my cards, you know who I am. So, obviously, we spoke on the phone. Um, right. My name's Kellen Hassensab. I'm with the Colorado Bureau of Investigation, and we're okay. uh, assisting the Frederick Police Department on that missing persons case that they're working on right now. And um, Your name came up as somebody that we should talk to that might have some information just about the general situation, so that's why we're here, you know. Understood. Name on a list. So if you could kind of explain to us how you're involved in this and what you might know about the situation, that would be a good good place to start. Well, how I'm involved, I guess I'm just friends with them. Okay. Um, met them like seven years ago when they moved up from North Carolina. Okay. I had my own business at the time. Um, I do what's called reconditioning cars. Okay. Um, not here, but it's like dents and paint and window tint and mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. Anyway, so I worked at the dealership, not for the dealership, my own business, that they worked at. Okay. So that's how we met. Okay. So we've been pretty good friends, and then, of course, I bought a house, and they said, where do you live? So they bought a house in the same neighborhood. Oh, okay. I, I'm really right around the corner, like two minutes away. Okay. Um, so that, that's kind of how I know them. Uh -huh. um, as far as knowing anything about what's going on, you know, not much. I mean, honestly, it's uh, just, you know, what, I, what Chris has told me. Okay. Um, I talked to him a few times. I went to see him that night. I was actually... I'm off on Mondays. Um, I was actually home. I was actually painting something at that, that same time that I guess Nicole came over around noon. I think I, what the news okay. said. So we're well. Well, tell us what you remember about Monday. That'd be a good place to start. So, uh, the only thing on Monday that by that was is later at night. I get a text from a, a buddy of mine named Jeremy, uh -huh. and Jeremy said, "Hey, what's going on with Chris and Shanann?" Uh huh. So I have no idea. What okay. I mean. He says, "Well, it's all over Facebook." I said, "Well, I don't. I don't have." Yeah. Her on Facebook, blah, blah, blah. I said, okay. So anyway, um, he says, yeah, she's missing. And I, I was kind of like, oh, whatever. Yeah. And I just kind of like didn't believe that. And so I text Chris. He didn't reply right away, so I called him. Uh -huh. And then he answered. And, and then that's when he said, he goes, yeah. He goes, he goes, you know, I went to work. And like, someone came over and came home. And they've been gone ever since. And all her stuff, all her personal stuff is here. Everything, phone, keys, mm -hmm. everything. I was like. Oh, wow, dude. So I walked over to his house just to talk to him about everything, yeah. and that's it. That's Monday. Okay. What time did you speak to him on the phone? That day? Yeah. Uh, I probably have a record on it. I'm thinking 9-ish. 9 p.m.? Yeah, about okay. 9 p.m. And I don't think I have your address. Do you have, like, an ID that I could write down? You know, I don't. I, okay. I, I don't How, know why. Do you, we can get it after this. No, that's fine. How do, can you just give me your, your legal name and all that stuff? Yeah, David. Okay. All right. So, um, how does how is is Jeremy just another friend of yours, or who yeah. is who is he? Jeremy was also kind of all mutual friends from the dealership. For, okay. It's a Ford dealership in Longmont Ford. Okay. Uh, Jeremy was a manager there, and um, I, don't know, I don't remember what his title was, internet manager, or whatever. But, yeah. Um, so he, yeah, he would, <clears throat> excuse me, we're all kind of friends. Uh -huh. and so Jeremy, that's when he contacted me. Okay. So you reach out to um, to Chris by text. Yeah. Don't hear anything back, and you just, so you just had to call him around. Give him a call, yeah, because Jeremy in the interim was texting me, kind of giving me more information on what was mm -hmm. going on. So then, of course, I got concerned. I was like, "Oh wow, what's going on?" I mean, mm -hmm. so that's and I didn't hear from Chris, so I called him, and then he did answer. Yeah, and so that's when I said, "Oh, I'll come by." And I, that night, I went over to okay go see him. What time do you think you got there to the house? To the house. It's a guesstimate, honestly. I mean, but it's I say nine thirty ish. Yeah. I think you called around. I talked to him around. Or I called him around nine. Uh -huh. And by the time I got off the phone with him, we walked over. It's uh -huh. a guesstimate, but say nine thirty. Sure. So you get there, and who else is there at that time? Nobody's there. Just Chris. Mm -hmm. um, he was uh, keeping himself busy by, you know, doing like housework and stuff because he said his mind, which you know, totally understood that. Yeah. Um, and then about thirty minutes later, whatever it was, Jeremy showed up. Okay. And Jeremy, um, you're just, I guess in a sense, just trying to be there for a friend or consoling. I'm not really sure what word to use. Yeah. Um, and then about 30 minutes later, whatever it was, Jeremy showed up. Okay. And Jeremy, um, you're just, I guess in a sense, just trying to be there for a friend or consoling. I'm not really sure what word to use. Yeah. You know, it's just kind of like, honestly, you're talking about it's like a loss of words. You don't know, you know yeah. really even what to say. It's, I've never been around that, so. What was <clears throat> Jeremy's last name? I don't think. I have new houses in there. Okay. So how long do you stay at the house then? Oh, at like Chris's house? Yeah. I'm guessing an hour. Yeah. You know, somewhere in there, just talking to him. And he said he was, um, wasn't really tired, but he said he just wanted to lay down and mm -hmm. um, try to get some rest or something. Like yeah. This or something like what that. do you recall that he was saying about the situation as you kind of reflect back on it? Um... 
that I asked him, okay, I mean, I asked him what was going on. I was like, dude, you know, and he's like, well, he said he didn't know, but he said that they were struggling in their marriage, I guess. Mm -hmm. He said she went to North Carolina for like five weeks. Mm -hmm. They did like, I don't know if you want to call it a trial separation or whatever. Yeah. Oh, oops, I'm sorry. I'm looking at my razor. Turn it off. Um, some kind of trial separation for five weeks or something. Uh -huh. um, she got back. I guess they kind of talked and tried to work things out. I don't know the inner workings of why they're fighting. I, I don't you didn't know. What the, you didn't know what the difficulties in the marriage were. Yeah, I have no idea. I don't ever. Everybody's got their own thing. I don't yeah. Get involved in his. Um, and then he said that they did have a disagreement or an argument that morning. Mm -hmm. And then obviously that's when something. Yeah. Did he up. say what that disagreement that morning was or anything no, like that? No, he didn't like give me any details on what. Just that they're not getting along or something. Just you know, just mm -hmm. typical. I, I just how I took it as typical. Yeah. You know, people how they are. Anything about the kids that you bring up or mention that you remember? Um. No, nothing other than he was worried about, like, I think one of them has to take meds, uh -huh. and the, there was no meds taken, uh -huh. like, from the house that right. he knew of, so mm -hmm. that's the only thing he's worried about with the kids, mm -hmm. other than being gone. What did he think had happened at that point? You know, he was, his speculation was that she left with somebody, doesn't know who, because I, I did ask that question, I said, well, who would she leave with? I mean, is she seeing somebody? Is, I mean, what's going on, dude? And he's like, he goes, he goes, dude, I don't know if she's seeing somebody or what. I mean, yeah. you know, I don't know what all the truth is here, but all I know is his his speculation was that she left with somebody uh -huh. and she's hiding out somewhere. Okay. Not, I don't think abducted. With, with the kids or without the kids? With the kids, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, with the kids. So left voluntarily with the kids. Left voluntarily with the kids with, and I, and I asked him, I said, do you have exterior cameras? Uh -huh. Yeah, and does neighbors have exterior cameras? And someone they didn't just vanish. So someone pulled up, or somehow I don't yeah. know if they went out the back, or what. But um, that was my question to him because mm -hmm. he does, he didn't have exterior cameras, and he didn't know if his neighbors did. Mm -hmm. So what? How would you describe his mind frame at that time? Was he thinking it was going to be resolved? Was he upset? Was he? Yeah, I think he was thinking it was going to be resolved, and I think he was thinking that, you know, if I had to guess, he he never he never said this, but. That, you know, obviously he just wants his kids back mm -hmm. is the way I was taking it. I mean, he was concerned for anybody's, you know, well-being for sure, but he was just worried about his kids and getting them back and, mm -hmm. and you know, I guess where they're at. Yeah. His biggest thing was where, is where are they at? Yeah. So, I mean, are they hanging out in the neighborhood? Are they getting someone's car to drive out of state? Yeah. According to him, he had, like, no information at all. Mm -hmm. So I guess that's why y'all are involved yeah what, what was your perception did he uh whether he was surprised that something like this had happened was it a shock to him i mean what, what do you remember about his emotions he was pretty blank yeah i mean to be honest with you he was not like like oh i knew this was coming yeah or anything like that he just he just he was blank about the whole situation about like i don't know what's going on i don't know why she did this uh -huh. you know and so yeah, I mean that that's it, and, uh -huh. and you know he's just kind of like blank about it. Like yeah, you know, did he bring up um, like foul play or the possibility that something um, you know dangerous I think or violent had happened? You know, I think it was discussed. I don't think he brought it up. Uh -huh. I think it's just a, I don't know if it's like typical conversation when yeah. something like this happens. But you know, when Jeremy was there, and we're talking. You know, we're kind of talking about this. Is like you know what are the the odds of some being abducted in the neighborhood? Yeah. You know, that kind of thing. And that's kind of where I said with exterior cameras. Yeah. Not just maybe someone pulling up like that or maybe. So he didn't, he never really brought foul play up. Yeah. We, it, but it was, I think, discussed through mm -hmm. kind of, if you want to say, process of elimination. Yeah. Trying to figure things out. Yeah, and you had mentioned he was doing some housework. Do you remember what that type of stuff was or? He was? Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't, well, it looked like the carpet was freshly vacuumed. Uh -huh. And that's the only thing I, I guess. The house, they usually keep a pretty neat, tidy house. So yeah. I can't really say everything was put away nice because they usually do. Um, but it looked like the carpet had been freshly vacuumed. I mm -hmm. mean, it, was, it had the, the lines from the vacuum. Yeah. Out. Anything like cleaning supplies out or things of that nature? Mm -hmm. Nope. The only thing I saw him doing, he was making a protein shake. Yeah. And just talking and then he got a phone call I think it was his mom uh -huh. called him and uh and then that's when 
my friend Jeremy called me and he said, you know, he didn't know exactly where the house was. I said, I'll step outside. Yeah. I stepped outside, Jeremy showed up, and then we all went back in and then we talked to Chris some more. Okay. Anybody else there present other than, other than the three of you guys? Not that not I'm aware of. That was a, just, okay. you know, we were just, we just were, we kind of gathered in the kitchen, if you want to, if you want to say, and then kind of outside in the, on the, on the driveway. Okay. And, um, he basically said he needed to lay down at that point, you guys, left yeah. in the evening. Yeah, he said, I, I'm not sure, it wasn't like he said he was going to bed, he says, he's just going to, you know, lay down and, I don't know if he's rest of his mind, I don't know. Yeah. It's just kind of, yeah, so, I mean, I've been in contact with him ever since. Mm -hmm. um, my wife made some dinner for him last night, you know, if you want, yeah. and he says, well, he, he was with, I guess, y'all. He said he's with the FBI or something, I was like, well, he said he was done with you guys about midnight or something like that. I was like, well, I said, okay, I said, well, I said, if you want, it's still there, you can have yeah. it tonight. Um, so I just kind of been in constant contact because I figured he'd get some. I said, you know, I said, I know I'm not top on your priority list. I know parents and grandparents and yeah. uh, now obviously, you know, officials need to be. But I said, I would like to be informed if you can, if you mm -hmm. do get the opportunity. So that's yeah. been our conversation. Back what then. has he been telling you about what's been going on? Any, any specifics or details or anything like that? No, just that he... Um, yeah, well, I guess some specifics. He, I guess he talked to the news, uh -huh. um, and I, then I actually saw this morning on the internet. I'm not sure what channel it was, but they did like a um, an interview with him. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Then he, obviously the Frederick police. Yeah. And then last night, that's when he said that he was with the FBI. Right. And I was like, oh, okay, wow. Well, you know, I'll let you go. Just let me know what's going on. And so that that's about it. So has he kind of <clears throat> uh, has that theory changed, or is his it, has he basically still thought that she's voluntarily gone and with somebody, or has that changed to your knowledge? To my knowledge, I don't know because I I, I only seen him what was it what the hell is today Wednesday, yeah. uh, Monday night. Uh -huh. I didn't see him last night because he was he was gone, and then right. I was going to see him tonight just to see what his. I, I, so I don't know. I haven't okay. asked him that question. I just okay. I just just give me information if you hear anything. Yeah. So I was going to actually talk to him about that tonight when I saw him mm -hmm. to say hey you know. What are your thoughts still, dude? Yeah. What yeah. do you think is going on? That's yeah. Sort of yeah. Okay. Any, any, I guess, facts that he's told you about, you know, information that he's uncovered or he's discovered anything about their disappearance or anything like that at this point? No. N no, it's, like I said, I haven't really, it's been pretty quick text messages yeah. and a couple quick phone calls. Um, nothing really other than, I mean, it's just kind of, I guess, just honestly, from my side, it's just baffling. Just, mm -hmm. I'm just trying to, like... Yeah.